Hello students! Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mom Rain. If you haven't subscribed yet on my channel, please click the subscribe button below and also the notification bell para maging updated kayo whenever I upload videos. Our topic for today is factoring polynomials with common monomial factor based on most essential learning competencies or MELC. In this lesson, you will learn how to factor polynomials completely. Okay, so let's have this review. Factor me out. Find the prime factors of the given number. 45. So we have 45. The factors are 5 and 9. But 9 is not yet our prime factor. So we get the prime factor of 9, which is 3 and 3. So therefore, the factors of 45 are 3 times 3 times 5. How about 96? 96 has factor of 12 and 8. But 12 and 8 are not yet prime factors. So we got 3 and 4 for 12 and for 8, 2 and 4. 4 is not yet a prime factor. So we got 2 and 2 and for another 4, 2 and 2. So the factors of 96 are 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 and 2. Let's review naman how to get the GCF. So let's get the factors of 45 and 15. Yung 45, meron siyang prime factors na 3, and 3, and 5. And on 15, meron naman siyang 3, and 5. So, meron silang prime factors na 3, and 5. Therefore, imumultiply mo yung dalawang prime factors para yun ang maging GCF nila. So, hindi pwedeng maging 5 yung GCF kasi meron silang dalawang common. So, Imumultiply mo. Kung ang GCF ay makukuha sa number, ang CMF naman, or ang common monomial factor, ay makukuha natin sa algebraic expression. Bigay tayo na example. 45xy squared and 15x squared y. Para makuha natin yung CMF, ng dalawa, kukunin muna natin yung GCF ng numerical coefficient, which is 15 and 45. Sa so 45 and 15, meron silang GCF na 15. Kukunin naman natin yung sa xy squared and x squared y. So kapag pareho ng variable, ibig sabihin, the same basis sila. Kung ano yung pinakamababang exponents on the same basis, yun ang kukunin natin, GCF. In this case, sa x, magiging x na lang. And sa y, magiging y na lang. Bale, makukuha na natin yung kanilang CMF or common monomial factor, which is 15, this is a numerical coefficient, and xy. So, that is 15xy. Gawin naman natin siya sa binomial. Let's have an example. So, meron tayong example 1, which is 3m plus 6. So, sa 3m plus 6, kukunin natin ang GCF ng 3 and 6. Wherein, ang ating 3, ang factors niya ay 3 times 1 times m. And sa 6 is 2 times 3. So, they have their common factor, which is 3. So, 3 is their 
first factor, so it is equal to 3 times the quantity of the remaining factors, which is m plus 2. Let's have another example. We have, so we have 5a squared minus 15a. So, kung natin yung GCF ng 5a squared and 15a. So, sa so 5a squared, meron siyang factors na 5 times 1 times a times a. And 15a naman, meron siyang factor na 5 times 3 times 8. So, makapapansin nyo, meron siyang common factor na 5 and common factor of so, therefore, ang kanilang CMF or common monomial factor is 5A. Sa pang paraan, i-divide natin yung 5A squared sa 5A. So, pag 5 divided by 5 is 1. So, lalagay mo yung 1, then A squared divided by A. So, pag nandidivide tayo ng same basis, different exponent, subtract the exponent, and then, write it down. So, that is 1a. Minus 15 divided by 5 is 3. And a divided by a is 1. So, that is 3. So, a minus 3. So, to check, just multiply the two factors. Para malaman natin at lumabas yung given mismo. So, 5a times a minus 3. So, si 5a, multiplied mo muna kay a. Minus 5a, multiply mo kay 3. Itry naman natin sa trinomial. So, trinomial, we have 18a raised to 5b plus 21a cubed b squared. Minus 3a squared b cubed. So, kukunin na natin yung CMF nila. So, 18, 21, and 3. Anong GCF? Tama. 3. Meron tayong GCF na 3. At sa variable naman na a, kung ano yung pinakamababang exponent, yun ang kukunin natin. So, a squared. Sa b, so, in getting the fa other factors, 18 divided by 3 is 6. A raised to 5 divided by A squared is A cubed. And B divided by B is 1. So, hindi na siya kasama. Plus, 21 divided by 3 is 7. A cubed divided by A squared is A raised to 1. Then, b squared divided by b is b. So, 7ab minus 3 divided by 3 is 1. a squared divided by a squared is 1. b cubed divided by b is b squared. So, these are the factors of 18a raised to 5b plus 21a cubed minus b squared minus 3a squared B cubed. To check, just multiply the factors. So, kapag yun yung lumabas, nag-multiply ka, at yung given yung mismong lumabas, meaning, you have the correct answer. So, what did you learn? In factoring polynomials with common monomial factor, we must know first the GCF, or the greatest common factor. So, yun dapat keep in mind na kailangan alam natin yun. And, proceed with in finding the other factor by dividing the GCF, or common monomial factor, to the given. So, i-divide mo, so magiging denominator yung ating CMF. And then, lastly, subtract the exponents when we are dividing the same basis. And that's it. 
Now, let's try this. Let's factor the following polynomials. Number 1, 22x cubed y minus 12x squared y raised to 4 plus 18x. Number 2, 36xy plus 12x cubed minus 15y raised to 4. Number 3, 10hp cubed plus 55h raised to 4, p raised to 4 minus 25hp. Now you can like, share, and subscribe on my YouTube channel, Mom Ray. Kung may gusto kayong ibang topics na i-elaborate ko, mag-comment lang kayo or message me on Facebook. It's facebook.com slash official. And make sure to like and follow na rin. All other tutorial videos are uploaded at my YouTube channel, Mom Rain. At ito pong muli si Mom Rain na nag-iiwan ng mga katagang pag-aaral ay pagbutihin, kaalaman ay pagyamanin. Bye-bye!